Okay, let's do number nine. Number nine is asking us to convert 100 milliliters into cups. So what I can do here is I'm, lo I'm looking at uh, some type of measurement, right? I have milliliters and cups here, which means I'm going to have, I have two different systems. I have both the systems are measuring this volume. However, I have to do a um, unit conversion here because milliliters is going to be in the metric system. And I'm going to cups, which is actually the empirical system. So I have to find some type of uh, conversion rate between these um, between these two systems. So we can say that. So we can say um, in for in terms of our conversions, we can say that one milliliter is equal to zero point zero zero four two two six seven five cup. So based off this conversion. What we can do is we can now convert our 100 milliliters into cups. Again, this you don't basically have to memorize because this here is a conversion between systems and it's not something that's um, uh, kind of uh, uh, like easy to memorize. So in this case, a lot of times what we do is we actually just give you the conversion rate here. So given this conversion here, how do we convert this to cups? Well, it's very, very easy, right? I can say that using unit analysis, I have 100 milliliters is and I want to get um, cups, right? So 100 milliliters, I'm gonna multiply that by 0 0.0042265 uh, uh, cup. And then this is per one milliliter, right? So I can say is I can actually cancel out this milliliters. And then I can actually just simply do this operation here. So this will give me how many cups I have. So I have 100 times 0 0.0422675. So if, if I multiply by 100, I can simply just move the decimal place to places to the right, right? So this would mean by new decimal, decimal point. So this is 0 0.422675 cup. So I can say therefore, 100 mLs is equal to 0 0.422675 cups. So this solution here is correct because they wrote 422.67, so they just rounded here. So the solution here is correct.